Welcome to my next HTML tutorials and today I will be discussing on HTML and SSML. What is HTML written as SSML? What is SSML? SSML stands for Extensible Hypertech Markup Language. SSML is almost identical to HTML. SSML is stricter than HTML. SSML is HTML defined as an XML application. SSML is supported by all major browsers. Why SSML? Many pages on the internet contain bad HTML. This HTML code works fine in most browsers, even if it does not follow the HTML. Copy this code and paste it to your browser via test editor and run it on your browser. Therefore, smaller devices often lack the resources or power to interpret bad markups. SML is a markup language where documents must be marked up correctly. Beware from by combining the strengths of HTML and SML. SSML was developed. SSML is HTML redesigned as HTML. The most important differences from HTML document structure. HTML doc type is mandatory. In, in HTML, the MLLT attribute in HTML is mandatory. And this tags HTML head, title, title, and body are mandatory. HTML elements. HTML elements must be properly nested. HTML elements must be always closed. HTML elements must be in lower case. HTML document must have one root element. HTML attribute. Attribute name must be in lower case. Attribute values must be quoted. Attribute minimization is forbidden. Doc type is mandatory. An SSTML document must have an SSTML doc type declaration. That's the head, the HTML, the head, the title, and body. Elements must also be present, and the SMLNS attribute in HTML must specify the MLS namespace for the document. SS HTML element must be nested. In HTML, some elements can be improperly nested within each other. Like this. We have bold and italic. This text is bold and italic. In this one, it's not properly nested. In HTML, all text elements must be properly nested within each other. Like this. Bold, italic. This text is bold and italic. SSTML element must always be closed. And for this example, you are going to know which one is right and which one is wrong. Yes, this is wrong. There's a paragraph without the closing tab. This is another paragraph without a closing tab. This one is wrong. And while this one is correct, a paragraph, the text must be inside the two tabs. That is, this is a paragraph, and this is another paragraph. There is an opening and a closing tag. Text, for instance, empty elements must also be closed. This is wrong. A break line, a horizontal rule, and an image. This one is not a good practice and must be closed in XSTML. As for this one, is correct. That is, Empty element must also be correct. This is correct. A break, the four slash, a horizontal with a four slash, and an image with a four slash. This element must be in lower case. This is wrong. As a big capital, the road body, and a paragraph. This one is not a good practice, and if so, check out for the right or correct format. That is, in HTML, this is correct, a body with a small letter, a paragraph with a small letter, and body with a small letters.
HTML attribute name must be in lower case. This is wrong. The attribute of width, that is table width, is 100. This is correct. Table width is lower case, that is 100. HTML attribute value must be coded. This is wrong. The table width is 100 percent. That is 100 percent should have been in in court. That is table. That is, this is correct. A table width is 100. HTML minimization is forbidden. This is wrong. Input type is checkbox. Name is vehicle. Value is car. And a check. A check is not inside the quotation. And this is correct. Input type is checkbox, name is vehicle, value is car, and is check body. How to convert from HTML to XHTML is to add an HTML doc type to the first line of every page. Add an MLNS attribute to the HTML element of every page. Change all element names to lowercase. Close all empty elements. Change all attribute name to lowercase. Cut all attribute values. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.